high grade nines we are looking at isometric drawing two and we are once again going to copy the isometric drawing shown below over into this space over there we are going to start at A which is right here at the bottom which has been marked for us and we are not going to copy any of the dimensions onto the drawing but we are going to use the dimensions to guide us to get to the required shape that is needed so once again you need to make sure that you are going to draw a block first by filling it up like that so I'm going to draw my three lines then once again that way that way and up and then I'm going to have this 50 along this side now I'm going to have 70 along that side here I just want to straighten that a little bit so it's going to be 70 that way 50 this way and I'm going to go up by 70 as well I will however project that up and I will draw this parallel to my bottom axis or 30 degree lines return this that way return that that way to formulate my back corner there now I've got my box as it is here now I'm going to remove these parts here by identifying this first and the top part the sections here and the top part so I'm going to go up by 20 and draw it that way and draw it that way and then I'm going to have these slots of 25 and 20 here. I'm going to go to my back and create the 15 millimeter back part there. And then of course I'm going to create the same slots as I have here. Which is 25 on the side which gives us 50 and the 20 in the middle which gives us 70. So 25, 25 marked here brought across similarly like these lines here. And then I'm going to take it right to the front. That comes down like that to formulate this part over there. And then my slant will go from here to there. That's the one slant. The other one will go from there to there. And then of course the one on this side here will go from there to there. There is another one. However, it cannot be seen. Now I'm going to highlight. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my front part first. That part there going to go till there and there. I'm going to have my slanted sections there and that slanted section there until that part there. Then my top part here I'm going to darken like that. This is going to come to the front. That's going to be a corner. It's going to come right down until that point over there. And then I'm just going to add these back part and the bottom as well to be able to complete the drawing. I've shown you once again how it works freehand. Let's go over to the more formal drawing where you will see how I use my set square and my T square to be able to complete this.